What's up people? This is Donald with the japanguide.com and today I'm going to show you how to read a Japanese nutrition label. Eiyo seibun hyoji. That's the Japanese word for nutritional information. And you don't really need to know it, uh, but I just thought if we're going to be using a bit of Japanese today, I might as well tell you. All right, we're going to keep this simple and quick and easy today. I'm not going to make this too long. All I'm going to do today is give you the basic stock things that you would have on a nutrition label. So when you think about it, what are some of those things that you, you see when you're reading a label wherever you are? So it's those things like protein, carbohydrates, um, what is it, sugar, fat, fiber, those kind of things. So I'm not going to overload you with every single thing, but these are the most common ones. I just wanted to switch over to my screen really quickly because I figured if I actually make a list you can see, uh, it'll help you to retain this better. So, nutritional information, <laughs> or Eiyo Seibun Hyoji in Japanese, and here are eight crazy useful Japanese terms you need to know when you're trying to read a Japanese nutrition label. Okay, so the first one, energy, is usually written as energy in katakana on the back of the label. Number two, protein. For all you people trying to build muscle, that is tanpakushitsu. Tampaku shitsu. Number three, fat. Fat is written as shishitsu in Japanese. Shishitsu. Number four, carbohydrates. Yes, yeah, this is one I struggle with. Uh, carbohydrates are written as tansui kabutsu. Tansui kabutsu. Number five, sodium. Sodium is written as natorium, usually in katakana. And it actually makes good sense that it's called natorium. On the periodic table, what's sodium? It's written as Na, right? So that'll help you to remember that one. So sodium is written as Na on the periodic table. And natorium is actually the Japanese, the Japanese katakana pronunciation for natrium which is sodium in Latin. Fun fact there for you. Number six, sugar, the bane of my existence. Sugar is written as toshitsu in Japanese, toshitsu. Number seven, fiber. Sei, sei. And lastly, number eight, a serving size is written as Atari, Atari. And with this one, you'll usually see an amount in gram, usually in grams, listed before the word Atari. So for example, if it said like uh, 200 grams Atari, it means they're giving you the nutritional information for 200 grams of whatever you're eating, okay? All right guys, let's switch back. Now that we've covered that list of basic vocabulary you need to be able to read a Japanese nutrition label, it's time to apply what you've learned. All right, I held this up a little bit earlier, but this is from my local 7-Eleven. This is the Sarada Chicken Hub, or the salad herb chicken that I usually get from 7-Eleven. And I eat this when I need to get a little bit of extra protein in my diet for the day. Um, actually, it's, a, it's pretty good protein, but we'll look at it in just a second. So let's take a look at the nutrition label for this and see if we can apply some of the vocabulary that we just took a look at. This is the nutrition label for the salad herb chicken that I was just showing you. And as you can see here, it says Eiyo Seibun Hyoji, 100 grams Atari. So that's nutritional information per 100 grams of chicken. So this is giving you all the nutritional information for 100 grams of chicken. All right, and let's mix this up just a little bit. So I would like you to, to tell me how many grams of carbohydrate are in this chicken. Okay, and I'm just gonna move up to it. So it's right here. So that says Tansui Kabutsu, 0 0.4 grams. So that's 0.4 grams of carbohydrates. Okay, and uh, how about the protein? How much protein is in this chicken? Okay, I'm gonna slide a little rectangle up. 24.6 grams, Tampakushits. Okay, so that's 24.6 grams of protein. Not bad, actually. 
how much sodium is in it. Natodium or sodium is 569 grams. And admittedly, the chicken is a little bit salty. How much fat is in this chicken? Okay, so we have shishitsu, 1.5 grams. 1.5 grams of fat. And lastly, how many calories are in this serving, in one serving of chicken? 114 kilocalories. So we say calories in the US, but they're actually using kilocalories. A chemistry teacher once told me that the calories we use on US food labels are actually kilocalories, so they mean the same thing. All right, keep in mind, guys, that this is for 100 grams. The actual chicken itself, I think, is 125 grams, so you have to play around with the numbers a bit to get the actual nutritional information. But in a nutshell, that's how you read a Japanese nutrition label. All right, let's head back and finish up. That wraps it up for today, gang. I hope you found this very, very useful. And guys, I have had this recent epiphany of ideas so please stay tuned because they're all going to be coming soon. And I'll probably do a bit more detailed versions of, of what we do in these videos over at the blog on thejapanguide.com. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope this helps you to have a healthier diet or whatever your, your goals may be. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.